Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, something happened on a cruise ship and the authorities don't seem to have any questions about it. But if I was a passenger on this ship, I would have a lot of questions. So the incident occurred earlier this week on the MSC Divina. She's on an Italian sailing. And what happened was a child of 12 years old, when it, he reached the first port of destination, he felt ill, he was coming down with something, so they brought him to the clinic on board. The doctors looked him over, said everything was okay, and he returned back to his cabin and continued on the cruise. By the time they reached the next port, the child had passed away. And they, he had passed away about three hours before arriving at the cruise port. The parents and his two brothers are now in hospital in Italy. Uh, apparently they're from Germany. And they are under quarantine in the hospital. Now, authorities say there has been no investigation launched into this incident because the doctors have determined that it was a natural causes. Here's my concern. First of all, if it's natural causes, why wasn't it caught at the first port when he first experienced symptoms? What exactly, you know, did they just kind of always get the flu and let him go? how what exactly we don't know exactly what the cause was but you'd have to think that going from one port to the next port to deteriorate in such a way that you pass away is pretty severe that's some big time symptoms you don't just like this especially at 12 years old and the fact that they quarantined the parents and the brother as well makes me wonder was this some sort of infectious disease if you're on that cruise ship wouldn't you be a little concerned <laughs> right now? Especially if your child was, say, in the kids' club on the ship, and maybe their child was in the kids' club at that time. Uh, I Apparently, they don't seem to be too concerned about it, but I think they need to put out some information on this, because if I was a passenger on board, I'd be very, very curious and want to know what's going on, what exactly that cause was. And if I'm the parents of this child, I'm wondering why it wasn't discovered the first time they were seen at the doctors on board. That, uh, I have a feeling we're going to hear more about that later on in, uh, once this story starts to unveil more. But it's certainly a tragedy. Twelve years old and, you know, you feel sick on board, you go to the doctors, you're doing everything right. And before you can reach the next port, tragedy strikes. And that is heartbreaking. Uh, so two things. I want to know why the doctor didn't know more. Uh, why, weren't, why weren't they sent to a hospital at the first port? Maybe that could have saved the child's life. It's, it's, it's only a thought process in my head. You don't know. We don't know exactly. But if it was discovered, could that have made a big difference? We don't know. And second of all, if it's something contagious and that they had to be quarantined, shouldn't other passengers on board be notified as well in case they start coming down with symptoms like that? It just, it just seems very, very odd the way this situation is being handled right now by the authorities. I mean, there's 2,000 some people on board that ship and I would be very, very concerned if I saw this new story come out. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you think I'm right? Do you think maybe they should have seen something? Or, you know, it, some, I, know, I know things do happen. So it is very possible that all the symptoms show cold and nothing more. And really, you're an onboard ship's doctor. You're like a general practitioner. You're not able to diagnose severe things. And uh, I, I don't want to blame the doctor like that if the, if the symptoms were like that. Um, but it does need to be answered and it does, the questions need to be asked. 
So, but let me know what you guys think down below. And I hope you appreciate this update. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, hit the subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.